mentioned that you were allegedly duped in the used glove scandal by a Thai firm called Patty the Room, but there seem to be more parties involved. Can you shed some light on that? Patty the Room and scammers like him like to avoid Asian jurisdiction by having a third party in a third country. So if the money was went to Taiwan to Collections Enterprise, Yu Ching Wen's company, mm. as the exclusive representative for Patty the Room. So when I first came to Thailand and tried to make a complaint, that was what I ran into. You didn't send any money to Thailand. There's no crime in Thailand. Right. And by design, that's how these scammers operate to try and avoid jurisdictions. What was really going on with the kidnap case uh, earlier this year? Were you actually involved because you were arrested um, for that? Yeah, um, lies were told to the media and to the world, such as that I was in the video in the restaurant. Uh, Vincent's lawyer opened an account on Twitter where he interspersed pictures of me from the arrest or from Twitter or from Instagram with the restaurant video. And then he circled somebody in a black hat and a black mask and to imply that it was me. Um, I didn't know about it until later after that incident. I met with Vincent for dinner later that night mm -hmm. um, at his request. There's a photograph of it, thank you thank goodness, of him in the restaurant. And this is at 7 p.m. that same day. Vincent claims to have been beaten by five ex-military members until he was almost unconscious. You can clearly see that there's no marks anywhere on him, and he's laughing, smiling, drinking whiskey three and a half hours later. Different police are saying different things, like I never filed a fraud report. I filed a fraud report. There's a public prosecutor assigned to it. I didn't escape Thailand. I went through the Thai legal process like any other person. I had travel permission unrestricted from the judge to leave. Why do you think that is? Why were, why were you drawn into all of this? Because there's a lot of money for them at stake. There's a retired um, military general living in Lockbury that is behind all of this. It's the power behind Patty. Now, they claim to say, oh, Patty ripped them off also, but there's very one really interesting thing that the public should look at. Why didn't they make a criminal complaint against Patty when they were the ones who did send money to Thailand? You came to Thailand and saw the factory. So what have you found? Where were the used gloves from? from um, your I don't thinking? know where they came from, but somebody imported medical waste into Thailand. Listen, I have a criminal history in the past, mm -hmm. right? I, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's okay. It was a huge mistake for me, and people do different things at different times in their life. But this is something different. What, what's happening here is somebody is taking the time to wash and dye medical waste, put it in Sri Trang boxes, and ship it to the United States. That's medical terrorism. What are you trying to achieve? I mean... Do you want well, to want, clear your name or do you have any lawsuits in the works? Yes, we have lawsuits. We're suing Newsflare right now because we know already, on, you know, that Newsflare would only accept that story with all those lies that I was a military member. They didn't even have my age right, that I was still a drug dealer, that I was in the restaurant video. Do you have any evidence to support uh, your claim to convince us to believe your side of the story? Yes, absolutely. I have a uh, photograph of Vincent Wen at the restaurant. I have a video of Vincent Wen in a factory that he claims is Sri Trang. I have letters from Sri Trang saying that it's all fraud. The lot numbers are fraud. They have nothing to do with Collections Enterprise or Patty. I also have a letter from Sri Trang saying that they were previously damaged by Patty and Collections Enterprise before me and had already reported it to CST. What prompted you to share this story? And it was suggested that it was an act of revenge. So is it? Well, first, the press came to me because of the arrest. They did a perp walk. So CNN came to me. I didn't go to them. The Royal Thai police are actually, in the way they handled my case, are the ones that brought the global press. And as far as revenge, revenge against who? Mm -hmm. I love Thailand. The Thai people were great to me. I love the food. In America, Thailand is the dream vacation for many people.